the reasons experts say we're seeing greater voter turnout, at least on the Kansas side, is the abortion amendment, also known as the Value Them Both Amendment or Amendment 2. Kansas is the first state to vote on abortion since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Tonight we're breaking down what Amendment 2 would do. KSHB 41 reporter Ryan Takeo walking us through the different possibilities tonight, Ryan. Yeah, it's a big one, Caitlin. A lot of eyes on this one. This is the first statewide abortion referendum since the U.S. Supreme Court overruled Roe v. Wade. First, some background for you. The Kansas State Supreme Court ruled in 2019 that the state constitution includes a right to bodily autonomy. That includes abortion. Because of that, this vote is to amend the state constitution. Here's what yes on two means. Yes on two clears the way for Kansas lawmakers and Republican and the uh, Republican led legislature to restrict abortion access or even implement an abortion ban. No on two means the state's constitutional right to abortion access stays in place. Here are some specifics that we're gonna be watching tonight. What does Republican and Democrat voter turnout look like? We know there's been a groundswell of protests since the overturning of Roe. Over the past 10 years, though, Republicans have typically cast twice as many ballots in a primary election as Democrats. The other thing to watch is unaffiliated voter turnout. Is the issue of abortion access going to bring unaffiliated voters to the polls? Remember, unaffiliated voters aren't necessarily used to always voting in these types of primaries. I'm Ryan Takeo, KSHB 41 News.